Hi, I'm going to read a little critter story today called Good Night, Little Critter. So, here we go. I'll let you pause and read that. Give you a moment to pause. This is a level three first reader book, so if you want to have the kids read along, you can pause at any time. But I'm gonna read it out loud, so we'll begin. One night, little sister woke me up. She sat on my bed. I'm not sleepy, she said. I knew just what to do. A snack will make you sleepy, I said. We went down to the kitchen. I made two peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Mmm, mmm, that sounds good. Peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. One for me and one for my little sister. Then we had a glass of milk. I'm still not sleepy, said little sister. Gosh. Let's play a game, I said. A game will make you sleepy. I got out the checkers. I let little sister be red, and I even let her win. Time for bed, I said. I'm still not sleepy, she said. Oh. A story will make you sleepy, I said. I read little sister's favorite bedtime story to, to her. Are you ready for bed now, I asked. Nope, not yet, said little sister. Gosh, if I'd read to her, I, that would probably put her to sleep, huh? <laughs> Maybe your teddy bear is getting lonely, I said. I went to little sister's room. Her teddy bear was in bed. Why don't you stay and keep him company, I said. I will if you stay and keep me company, she said. I did not have to stay very long. Oh, look, little sister fell asleep. And little critter says, shh as he slips out, him and the mousey and the puppy dog. Oh, the kitty even fell asleep on sister's bed. Look at that. I went back to my own room, my own room. I listened to the crickets. I stared at the ceiling. I turned one way, I turned the other way. Now I couldn't get to sleep. Ooh, look at his poster, the mummy. So very scary. Mm. I went to mom and dad's room. I woke them up. I sat in their bed. I'm not sleepy, I said. Mom looked at dad. Dad looked at mom. They knew just what to do. So here's a word list that you can work on. So you can put the words you know and here's some challenge words. So I'll let you pause and work on these. Your mom and dad can read this to you. And you can work on learning all these words. So this is, this word says homophones. Homophones are words that sound the same even though they mean different things and have different spellings. So an example of a homophone is two, two, and two. And then there's a word scramble. So you can work on that with pencil and paper on the side. All you have to do is pause and play around with these things. Logical reasoning. Read the clues below to figure out which book Little Critter read to his sister. Ooh. The clues are the book has a picture on the cover. So this book does not have a picture, so it wasn't this one. The book has words on the cover. This book doesn't have words, so it wasn't this one. The title of the book is three words long. This book has only one word, so it's not that one. Soft C sounds. So again, you can pause the video and work on that with your parents if you'd like. And pronouns. Oh, 
Oh, and there's the answer key. That's the end. Ta-ta for now. Love you.